the course is superb, honestly. It's, it's been a good design, obviously. Graham Webster at Niblick designed the course when it first opened. And uh, our new greenkeeper's only been on board, you know, a few weeks. And already, you know, the course is in magnificent condition. Uh, he's made a lot of nice changes already. It's quite a bit of rough out there, so the definition's nice. And now he's doing a great job. Overall, the nine holes, I would have said four or five of them are kind of birdie-ish. And two or three of them are, are pretty tough. So it's short, but great fun to play. It can be an afternoon here, as opposed to a whole day away from work. Um, even if you play 18 holes, you'll get round 18 holes here in two and a bit hours, you know, bite of lunch, hit a few balls with your clients. We've got everything, you know, we've got a lovely uh, coffee shop, coffee house, um, there's a teaching base, people can hit balls, there's nine hole, par three, short game, punting green, everything's here for the corporate market. We're going to have a facility here that obviously people are going to be proud to be associated with. My name is obviously above the door, so it's very, very important to me that we create the right atmosphere in the place. Uh, we create a service that everyone can be proud to be a member of the Paul Laurie Golf Centre. And the whole place is going to be top notch. I like going to golf clubs and you look at all the pictures and the history of the place and tournaments they've had in the past. And like Port Rush, there was pictures of Gary Player and Jack Nicholas and Fred Daly and all these boys, and I just love stuff like that. I mean, I spent a couple of hours last week looking at all the kind of corridors. And, and then uh, Marion was Marion's idea, we need, we need some pictures up on the wall. So Marion and my oldest son actually put them all up, you know, one morning before we opened. Some people will like them and some people will think that it's a bit much, I suppose, but that's the one drawback for people. We will improve anyone's golf here at the Paul Lurie Golf Centre. I will be heavily involved in the academy side with the kids passing on a little mentoring role as I've done for David Law and Philip and a few other members of the team already so I'm going to be involved with the kids passing on some short game tips and doing golf days and camps and uh, you know the place is going to be the place is going to be buzzing I'm looking forward to it. Short game as I've said for years and all the pros say for years short game is the key you know I mean I wouldn't be the player I am if my short game was poor you know we have a large putting green and a large chipping short game area and obviously just playing the course here, the par 3 course will help your short game because a lot of wedges, a lot of 9 irons, greens are quite small, you're going to miss a lot of greens so you're going to have to chip and putt quite a bit. Um, so again, we've got all the tools here to help a better short game. I think you've got to realise the level you're at and if you're keen on improving and getting some lessons I think it will definitely help you. But if you're happy with the level you're at and your friends are the same level, I don't really, you know what I mean, I don't see, a, there was like two guys in the car park this morning and I went over and chatted away to them and uh, they said, oh, I hope you're not going to make this course any more difficult than it is already. You know, we just love playing here. Man, he's, he's at a level where he just wants to chap it around a par three course and go home with his couple of pals. Brilliant. You know, we can, we can hold a par three professional tournament here and we can hold a tournament for old boys to chap it around with their mates. That's the, that's the goal, where everyone's happy.